girls, they're gonna help me show our favorite things. They're pretty excited about all the things I'm gonna show you. Um, so fired up, they're gonna play and hopefully not run into me. <laughs> and the puppy is checking out all the favorite things because there's some yummy goodies there. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. We do a lot of training videos. If you like them, you like my reviews, you enjoy what I uh, share with my dogs, please do like my channel. Um, or subscribe, excuse me. So today we're gonna talk a little bit about my favorite things. These are just a few of them. They're all from small independent uh, folks that have their own businesses that are trying to make it go, uh, especially in a challenging economy right now. So I thought I would share a few of the things I love and I'll put the links below so you can click on those and shop. Um, and hopefully we can help keep some of these folks going during the holidays. First one is, you see right behind me, a, a cot. Uh, these cots are awesome, my dogs love them. They sleep on them as Chase is happily showing right now. They're up off the ground so they uh, stay cool because these dogs, Bernies, like to stay cool. They also protect their joints, they're nice and soft. Um, as you can see, they have PVC piping all the way around the meshing so puppies can't chew on them. Um, they are very sturdy. I've had this one for a number of years. I've got two more coming in uh, from, from Jamie, who's going to be uh, my vendor below. Her phone number is below. So those are awesome. She makes them different sizes, a few different colors, and they're great for outdoor beds. They're great for indoor if you have the space. Um, my dogs also love comfy beds too, but this is a great alternative uh, for when they have to go in the dog run. If I leave for a couple hours, they love these. As you can see, uh, they enjoy them. I do train them to be on them, so they get lots of rewards and foods when they're on them, so they're not worried about it. I do start with uh, them on soft ground where they can't make noise when I first train them to love them but they love these beds and sleep on them frequently. The next thing I have is a gift for dog lovers, uh, something that I've really enjoyed this year are sparkle buckets, bowls, uh, tumblers, spray bottles for those who show, uh, monogram, this is my kennel name, sevens is on there, it's nice and sparkly and fun, all different colors, all different things. Uh, that uh, you guys can check out. True Love Cockers is the link below that does the sparkly buckets and tumbler, tumblers with any name, a lot of different designs. She's awesome. Um, time frame, uh, get your order in now. Otherwise, it's great. Send a gift certificate and someone can pick out their own color, their own uh, thing that they want, and she'll get them done. But that's the True Love Cocker link. I love for treats. There's lots of different treats I use. This is Stuart's liver treats. I love, and so does Hazy. Hazy, you like these, don't you? They're freeze-dried liver. Um, it's one ingredient, one ingredient. So my taste tester here is very happy to have these. And the little one in the background you can see is running away with one of my other favorite things that she loves, um, which is her Bobolot. <laughs> it's a star mark. Um, toy. She's got guck all over her, her nose. So this is a Star Mark Bobolot. It, you, you put the food in through the top and come here guys, you're going to knock over the camera. And it goes down into the bottom and it comes out through a hole and they can move it around. I use it Frenzy gets her lunch in it, that's why she's so excited about it. And they can move it around on the floor and it distributes food out and it uses their brain. It's a good brain game. It's a good food to feed them if you need a dog to eat slower. Um, but, you know, it's, I've used it with my puppies. They come in different sizes. Yes, I know you love it. She thinks this is the best because it, it brings her lunch to her. So, Star Mark is website that I get this from and there's many other brain games on there. Another one of my favorite toys is a snuffle mat. This is a snuffle mat. I'll put the link below to this particular uh, manufacturer of a snuffle mat. So a snuffle mat is essentially a fleece bed of ruffles and this one is cool. It has cups as well that you can hide kibble in and so you put it down on the ground. You put kibble in it and it keeps them busy. You are busy. So I'm gonna put it down. They're gonna all go after it. And I 
sprinkle kibble, I sprinkle kibble into it and they'll sit there and paw at the kibble and it'll give them something to do. So snuffle mats are a great way to keep your dog occupied and again to feed them an entire meal. Here, Chase, come here, move out of the way. So you can barely see them because they're feasting on it. I push the kibble all the way into the felt and so it's hidden, so it uses their brain, they use their nose to find the kibble. As you can see, or sort of not see, but it is there. They love this mat. Some come with a hard um, mat underneath them. This one is really appropriate for puppies and smaller dogs because it's a, it's a, a smaller mat that they can work through. Um, but I do highly recommend snuffle mats and food games. The link to this is below as well. Uh, you'll see it and I'll put snuffle mat next to it. So check out snuffle mats for, to keep, help keep your dog busy and have fun food games and brain games. I love our knuckle bones and so do my dogs. As you can tell, this is their favorite video to do of all time. This is a raw knuckle bone, raw meaty knuckle bone. It's just out of the freezer, which is why it's a little discolored. And I get them cut at the butcher. This is from my local butcher, Better Meat in Seattle. It's awesome. He's fantastic, small time business owner. They're so wonderful. They take the huge raw, the huge um, knuckle bone <coughs> and cut it into halves. Excuse me. Cut it into halves for me or into thirds if I have smaller dogs at the moment. But I always get the knuckle bone. I never get the, the marrow bone because I don't feel the one that the marrow can be get really <coughs> Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Leave it. The marrow bone can get really uh, a little bit rich for them. So I don't give all that marrow in the long bone. I do the knuckle bone um, and it lasts longer and it's better on their teeth because they're actually uh, using their molars to crunch these. This specifically is Red Barn, which is a great company. My dog's gonna take out the camera. Red Barn White Knuckle Bones. Frenzy highly approves and this is great for a teething puppy, I eat frenzy pants here. Loves these red barn white knuckle bones. They don't have meat on them. Um, they're fairly safe as with all dog chews, I say they need to be supervised. Not all dog chews are, all dog chews have some risk, but it's so important for your dog to chew. That's what their molars are for. That's what their teeth are for. I've, I haven't personally spent any money on a dental for a dog because their teeth are clean from chewing. But I do watch this, I don't leave it out with them <coughs> until I know how they respond so they don't get big chunks off and they're safe and healthy. But I swear by these, I always have <coughs> one or two down on the ground. Toys are really important as well. Uh, different toys have different sounds, they have different things. I actually, do, I have to watch, this is not a rope toy, this is fabric, but I make sure it doesn't get pulled off. You don't wanna give rope toys because they can get entwined into the intestines if they're ingested, so be very careful from that. And I love toys that have the foil. They have the crinkle, um, <laughs> squeakers, which always are fun, huh girls? So these are fun, you guys can play with those. <laughs> you can't have all the bones. Waited the last, the last for the best. My favorite leashes, most of you guys have heard me say this many times, are Mes Ami leashes. M-E-S, M-I-S leashes, it's French. Um, this is a tangle of bunch of mine. She has all different super awesome colors. And they come in the leashes, which have the snap on the end. They're six and four foot leashes that have the snap. And then one thing that I think a lot of people don't understand how to use are the combo leads. These combo leads are super awesome because they have a stop gap, so you have somewhat of a collar. So you can put them on and the dog can't slip out of them. You can go for a walk, you have a six foot lead and they basically have a collar on because of the stop gap. Chase. And you can control your dog with it, but then you can come in and slip it off their head. So if you're taking the puppy out to go potty multiple times a day, you, and you don't want to snap the collar on every single time, these are fantastic because you can slip them over their head and run out the door. The other 
a product that I love and swear by, all of my dogs have on, not currently at the moment, but they wear, are limited slip collars. So this is where the dog's neck goes. It can't choke them. It gives a little bit of control to tighten up the collar so they cannot back out of it. Um, and then you clip the leash on there. It's a limited slip collar. This is the only collar that my dogs wear. They can't get in trouble with it. They can't, uh, if, if something happens and they get stuck, they won't choke. Um, it's soft. It doesn't break their coat for a Bernese Mountain Dog that show I want their coat to not be broken. So that's important to me. I swear by these limited slip collars. The last but not least is Tagline Goods. My very own shop with my friend Allison. We have awesome burner shirts, but we also have all other breeds too. And if you don't see a breed that you own, we're constantly putting up new designs. Shirts, sweatshirts, hats, water bottles, bags, uh, mugs, you name it, we have it. Um, so this is it's Tagline Goods. The link will appear at the end of this video. You can click on and the link will be below. Um, these are a couple of my favorites. Um, you know, dogs wine weekends. I've got, you know, burn it up. Life is, light, uh, life is the best with a burner. All sorts of different ones, but different breeds for dog sports, for those uh, dog lovers of all breeds, all sports. And lots of ways you can use the tagline goods to help us all out, all the small business owners out there. If you have any questions, please holler. These are just a small snippet of my favorite things. It's not everything. So uh, hopefully you can shop local and uh, enjoy the holidays and helping people at the same time. Please subscribe and have a great holiday season.